Okay. From the title of literally the live split, you can probably tell what game's gonna pop up right now, right? <laughs> yep. As you expected. SM63. So what is SM63? It is essentially a fan game based off SM64, SMS. You have floods. You can change them on the fly, which is really cool. Um, you have a lot of the levels that are in 64, and there's a ton of glitches that are very different that we're also going to go over during this run. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay. This is no major skip, so essentially, this me this is kind of like the any percent NMG category, or no sequence break. Where you can't really s go to any area that you wouldn't otherwise be intended to go to. Like, you can't go to Bowser 2 until you have 20 shines. You can't go to Bowser 1 until you have 8 shines. You can't go to, um... Um... The end of the game until you have 32 shines. So it's kind of like that. So what we want to do is get like the... F it's kind of like getting the fastest 32. Oh yeah, also that was burst skip, so you normally you'd have to um, go all the way to the left and do a bunch and do a bunch of other platforming. But if you use the bird there precisely, you can skip it. And our first round is going to be Eddie because um, it's kind of fast, and you also need it to to unlock pretty much anything else. So yeah. Uh, this is SLTM. Um, Another secret where we pretty much just skip most of the easy path. Oh, also, we actually, in 100%, we also go through the hard path. Fun fact. And we make it look easy, too. But yeah, um... So, next up is B.O.B. The first stage you'd probably enter casually, if you're playing this game, well, probably, probably after Eddie, though. So, we're actually going to be getting Silvers, um... Secret and then Island because those are the three fastest, and we only need um those three and like three more from SL, so six total, and those are the fastest ones. So it's kind of it's kind of like if you've seen Mario 64 or 70 Star, it's kind of like that. Like D whatever streams. And stuff. Oh my god, that that was a big oof. Big oof right there from co commentator from main commentator. Okay, so I actually did a spin there because you're able to move a little bit to the left during the cutscene, which is a little faster. And what we just did is a shy cancel. See, so you have to triple jump, and then on the same frame the shine disappears, um, you want to shine uh, pause and unpause. And the thing I did right after that was a wrong warp. So there's a few places in the game where if you just press, if you pause, like during a transition, you'll be sent to a completely different area. There's another. Is there any uses? I think this. No, there's like two other usages of this in HMC. Well, actually, now only one because. Oh, pff, I forgot to split. <laughs> LMAO. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen in the actual marathon. So, um. So, what was that? Where was that? Where was it going? Yeah, um. The wrong warp is like, we can't do this in like every single section. We also quit game because it's a little faster to quit game and exit level than to watch the cutscene. And the reason we had to do any of that is because we needed the shine counter to update because if it's not three or more, you can't enter the stage. And your shine counter has to be that. It's not just you have to have that many shines because EOS, it doesn't update your shine counter. so. That's where the difference comes into play. And you'll see that a lot throughout the run. Okay, so... Uh, this is Chief Chili. Um, a boss that you might find difficult casually, but here we just make it look like a complete joke, just like Mario 64. <laughs> okay. Um... So, oh yeah, so also still my head. We do skip a large portion of it, but in 100%, we would actually skip more. Like, it would be, like, you still go up here to get to the Sling Star, but we can skip the Sling Star in Hondo, because you have Rocket there. 
which you'll be you'll be seeing in when I submit my race against Verdict, which I'm actually doing because it's a summer marathon that's going on. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that. Also, what the hell? This is this is this is not this is a kind of common theme. Just getting bopped by the bomb there. Um. Oh, you also don't want to get any star coins. I I always get star coins by mistake. So you probably won't be. Don't be surprised if you end up seeing me getting one or two star coins, because you don't need any. You just need 32 shines. That's all. Okay, so um, normally you'd want you you'd think getting the reds would be a good idea, but the thing is now we use flood preserve for this stage, so we enter this two different times, and this is one of those shines that are just not that fast for for NMS. Also, when rich it just takes too much time. Oh, pff, I d didn't split again. Okay, well I can fix those. <laughs> I think this is like the third time I forgot to split in the span of six minutes. SMH. Okay, so. Oh, tutorial 2. This stage, um. This is where you would have to go to after fighting Bowser. Because. You get the key, right? But it's completely cursed, and it comp and it like, sends you so far away from the castle, right? <laughs> so you have to traverse through this entire level just to get back to the castle. Oh my god! And I missed the platform, like that, for example. <laughs> like that's that's a perfect example of what I was just talking about. Oh yeah, that, that glitch is called double rockets. Um, now that we have the rocket nozzle, we'll be seeing that a lot more too. Um, so what's being? So I actually have a mini video on this. Um, but what you're doing is you're basically standing still. You're rocketing, but the thing is, and I completely forgot my route there. You're completely pa you're like pausing on the same frame, on the very first frame that um you rocket. And if you pause my if you watch my video frame by frame at that part, you'll be able to see that. Like, there's one frame where, before you rock it, it will actually uncharge. So you can pause before that, and then... I think it's like a one or two frame window. That you, get, that you can do that, so... Oh, pff, okay. Okay, so... Ooh, I actually called that triple jump just just right. Nice. <laughs> I was a little nervous that I wouldn't triple jump because that's just that happened to me before, and I missed a shine cancel as a result, so that was huge. So also 100%. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking about going up for SSL inside shine cancel, but the thing about that is you don't need to because you don't get the star coin anyway. Bruh. I didn't even get the triple jump. My my gosh. Uh, quick game. I always have to think about those sometimes. Or sometimes I have to think about those because, like, <laughs> floor preserve is kind of confusing in the way that you have to, like, sometimes quick game and then sometimes exit level after shines. So, sometimes you, you, you'll see me thinking a little bit before performing an action just to ensure that I don't do the wrong action because that would lose more time <laughs> than just thinking for like a second or two. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, um while we're while we're like one of the biggest auto scrollers, the next one being Red Shine. But not ask me because you can actually die there. <laughs> this one's kinda just a freebie. Like I have never died here, although I have come close a few times. But like there's blue coins everywhere, so even then it's really not likely that you'll die. I mean, yes, it's possible if you mess around too much and you don't refill in time, but it's not, it's very unlikely. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this is like the worst RNG ever. A 112 first pipe, are you kidding me? Like, normally you'd want to have a sub mid in. That would be ideal, but this is... That was like the worst. Come on. I got a 131 second pipe. Um, that's still really bad. I mean, that that that's much better than the first pipe RNG, but it still doesn't make it good. Okay, come on. Don't die here. As soon as I was talking about this being free. That is what sometimes happens. What you just saw. <laughs> Me getting in the red. Yes, that has happened, but only a handful of times. But I never actually died in any of those attempts. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank God no embarrassing stuff happened there, you know? Okay. Scoon boss, um... It's a pretty simple joke. Like Chief Chili. Just grab him three times. Actually, even easier. Um, this is Blomp's castle. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to see where it is in, like, when you're first playing, so... But, um, it's actually right here. It's, it's a little above wet-dry. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of hard to see at first. But not nearly as hard to see as some other stuff that we'll get to later. Actually, no, because we're not getting star coins. Oh my god, I suck. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> this is this is big chokes. There we go. Oh, let's see. What else should I explain? Oh, there's something really... There's an interesting aspect coming up in Watch Our World. So, yeah. Um, Frosty Flood, we, we just skipped the entire stage. It's just, you start it, you skip, like, almost everything that's there. Like, you literally just skip it. What else can I say? Also remind me to do, um, HMC instant, ex instant, like, exit level, or double exit level. Oh, pff, what the hell am I doing? This is my hundo movement. I'm, I'm dumb. Oh my god. <sighs> I need to learn to not do that. I mean, it's still, I guess, okay for NMS, but it's still not preferable. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a huge deal if you lose it, but... Oh my god, no! Are you serious? Okay, okay, I can get, I can get back up. Bruh. Okay, this is a more advanced strat that almost no one does. I don't know why, but if I actually played well, I'd probably be saving time with it. Because I had to mess up everything before it. It just didn't happen. Oh, and I also got two star coins. <laughs> See? I told you. I told you I'd be getting star coins despite not needing them. Because I'm just so used to 100%. Which I'll actually also do a commentary of after this. Uh. Oh yeah, that thing in Watch Our World also has to has to, basically has a lot to do with um has a lot to do with Watch Our World Reds, which you'll see in, in the Hundo commentary. Oh, also I got that star coin, I was supposed to avoid it. <laughs> Another example of just Hundo muscle memory taking over. I've actually had instances of NMS muscle memory taking over when I'm actually doing Hundo. But that time it didn't happen, so thank goodness. So yeah, um, HMC Lake. Um, oh yeah, this is a really cool trick because you can actually spin this thing. You don't need the metal cap, it was recently discovered too. Even more recently than Flood Preserve itself. And since I failed that Shine Cancel, I would end up- do I'll do HMC Toxic instead. That's the backup, but yeah. You might be seeing it- you'll see it in the Honda run, for sure, even if I miss that Shine Cancel.
Nice, first try. Wait, is this faster? I'm saving a boatload of time for me. Actually, no, never mind. But it seems to be the same. So, yeah, um. The quick game there now because we're going to Bowser 2. Um, we're actually not getting reds. Even though we have flood, it's, it's it's like really debatable. I don't I don't think it's faster. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of shines that are like that are uh, that are also in the row after that would be slower than this. If, if anything, there's probably none. I mean, totally honest. Oh gosh. So yeah, um, there's actually going to be like a cutscene skip, there's a really long cutscene that plays after defeating this, so, what, so what you would do is fall off the stage, um, right after hitting the third hit, and then, while the cutscene plays, then the death animation will play, and then you are sent right back to the stage, and then you can exit level. In this category, we do it twice, because uh, we want to get to the main hall, so we can get to LOL faster. Um, oh yeah, and th this is also a little bit like Honda, because we're getting every Shinlo Shine except for Volcano, so... You can think of it this as a majority LOL, majority stage. And there are stages where we actually get every shine, and those are, that's SSL, actually, and TTC, but that's it. Bruh. Okay, and also I actually kind of discovered an LL cutscene, cutscene skip, and I got the star coin again! Not big surprise at this point. But yeah, um, you can you can do the cutscene skip thing that I, um, well I never actually talked about it. But if you like die at the same frame that you like do a shine cutscene, you can skip that shine cutscene. But it's actually not faster here, like it is in BM or Boost Mansion. And that, also that stage is not done in NMS. So, yeah. You'll see it later. Not this run, though. Oh, two golds in a row. Wow. I, wow, I, I can't believe it. I don't know if people, like, in the marathon will be seeing my splits. So, I don't know how wise it would be to... Okay, and also shine cancel the shine, which I didn't need to do. Because you don't get the star coin in MS. Bruh. Like, <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna see if I can do Vertex Pro Strat, like, right now. <laughs> oh my god, that was slow as hell. Well, let's, let's see, let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is, this is just almost not worth it. Okay, good to know. So, in reds. What is Rituk's play in reds? Um, not really much. It's not really a whole lot going on. I can't tell from just looking. I mean, we're not. It's not like we're we're, we're getting those bottom reds without a metal cap because that's that's I guess possible. It's just in no way faster. Hold on, what's going on? Why don't we get Maga Maze? I don't know, but why don't we like get a secret shine during that? That would be like a good time to get Eddie. Like, if we could reroute that in some way, that would be really cool. 
But actually, no, because that would be a sequence break, so you can't really do that, so never mind. Um, this is another auto scroller, but it's actually a lot scarier than Green Shine because the lava can easily kill you. So, and if that happens, your run's almost dead because you're losing like minutes. If, if especially if you've gone really far, like even the, even some of the earlier deaths can lose like half a minute. So that's really bad. Luckily, if you're like actually. Luckily, if you're like, you know, moving around, not staying still, you're, you're like, you, you, there's ways to get around it that you can react to. So it's like, you have to be very careful at all times, of course, like this. But you, you can probably, more times than not, make it without dying here. Oh yeah, the two stages that aren't learned NMS, Rainbow Ride and TTC. Two stages which I had a good chunk of explanations for too. What a bummer. Like our secret um, BM King Boo. Like those are some interesting explanations. Oh god. Don't die, don't die, okay. Cause that would have lost me like two minutes. That happened. <laughs> now it's gonna be a lot less if it happened, but it would still be pretty bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Magamade. This is Magamade's coming up. Um, Actually, no. Before that. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, oh my god! I, 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 just, I, I was supposed to go to Magamase first. What am I doing? 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 Oh god, that was such a bad idea. Why did I just go to TTM and then immediately after quit game? That was like the worst thing I could have done. Are you kidding me? That was so dumb of me. How could I? How could I go to TTM just to quit game? Hello, Mayo. This is a big face palm at its finest. How could I? But yeah, um, a lot of the stage is like a, li a little easy to- well, it's a lot easier because you, you actually get- Oh yeah! Oh yeah, um, I forgot! This is why! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you see, I got you! So, because I quit game, the game thought I was in TTM, so when I got floods, it actually registered the floods in TTM, because I went into TTM, and then I quit game, which it doesn't actually update in that case. Oh, pfft. So, I might actually do something like that in an actual marathon, a little more often than not. Okay, so... This, this stage is actually one of the quickest ones, because we're actually only getting two shines here. See you later. And this is just the same thing. This is literally the same thing as Mana Maze. There's no- I don't know if I want to do that again, though. Um, it's like the same concept as the Mana Maze T T TTM thing. The only difference is actually you don't get the floods in the castle, because you can already get the floods in the stage itself. That's like the only difference. Other than that, like, the concept's literally the same. And this also counts towards the Floods and, T and TTC. Actually, when initially doing this route, I didn't know that, so I actually got the Floods in the castle, but then it didn't take me long to realize that. Let's go. 
Oh god. The shine cancel I actually didn't do until recently too. Speaking of, and I just missed it, so. <laughs> yeah. It happens. But I know the backup better than I more than know the main strat for pretty much that reason. Oh, pff, there was a there was a pro BTT strat that I wasn't gonna go for. And if you don't know what BTT is, it's just we take a lot of it's, it's kind of like a segmented run. We take a bunch of segments and then whoever like hundreds of them, and then the fastest segment for every single segment is what is displayed. So it creates a theoretically perfect run. We already have that for any percent, and we have that we had that for 100 percent too. And NMS, but like they both got beaten in real time by Verdict. Because I guess they were really unoptimized and also Flood Preserve came after, so they weren't really used. Oh wait, I was supposed to I was supposed to do a double exit level again, so yeah. But now it's literally just any percent, so <clears throat> there's a couple more people that might actually know this. Because they either watch any percent players or aren't any percent runner themselves. Cause there's a lot more of them, so um, I guess it might not be as much to explain, but um, oh, also I split here. <clears throat> okay, so there's gonna be like, like that was that like that's a good way to skip the majority of the stage. You basically turbo, and then you rocket, and then. Or you, you turbo and then you like do a rocket like while you have a lot of momentum, kind of. That's like one of the fastest ways to gain a massive di distance. So yeah, um, we also grab this invincibility cap because there's lava that um, um, you'd wanna like be on, and it's a little, it's faster this way. Because you get to skip all those platforms. I bet Tass would. I bet you could do it faster without without the cap and Tass, but I, maybe I'm just theorizing. We don't actually have a Tass for this game. Well, I mean, we kind of do, but it's like really primitive. We don't have like memory watch, save states, um, um, playback stuff like that. We don't have those, so it's really hard to make a Tass. Or at least a good one. Bruh. Oh, pfft. Let's see if we can sub 31 this. This is sub 31 pace, by the way. So I know I had a little. I was like, it was a little challenging for me to sub 31. I know, but before Flood Preserve. And my PB was also like not far from a sub 31. It was just a little. I think it was actually kind of challenging before Flood Preserve, so. Doing that in a, well, no reset, marathon commentary run is pretty cool. It would have been even cooler if this was PB, if I actually gone faster than it, like in the beginning. But oh well, that's extremely rare. Unless you're like an absolute beginner and you're doing a GQ. Or, okay, I, you actually can do fake budget cuts and skip. So in NMS. It's just 100% muscle memory clicked in. But if you basically stay in the air while doing that, you can skip the text a little bit and it saves a few seconds. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna do that risky dive because I can. A little bit of slag can hurt. Cause it, especially because it actually went well. Ooh, wow. Yeah. 
Okay. We're digging it. So yeah, um... And we're on the final Bowser fight. A lot being said. I need to find a good explanation for um, space in general. But yeah. This is like the final Bowser fight. Um, And also the throws are like, you can miss them and you lose a bit of time for missing the throw. Or if he just lands in there like he just did. But not as much. So it's a bit different from SM64. So we're just going to quickly hit the bombs. And we have actually not completely finished yet because while well, we have defeated the final boss, the entire the entire space is going the entire space that they're at is gonna literally collapse. So um <laughs> So Kamet comes to the rescue, saves Peach. Well at least tries to save Peach. He's basically letting them know about this. But before he got the chance to, um Mario literally got shredded off the stage. And Peach is back safely. Doesn't have to do anything. But we have to basically play this last section called Escape. Because we have to escape. I think it's very, very fitting that they call it Escape. Bruh. That they call it, um, Escape. Because we're escaping from the space. And this actually used to be a huge run killer. Because we, like, a while ago we didn't have floods. That was like a huge discovery. And also Sung Star Skip. This is also in the any percent beginner tutorial. <laughs> like ideal beginner run. And 3120, so not sub 31, but I can take it, whatever. Alright, what a nice time. What a nice time. Especially given that I don't grind NMS as much. <sighs> Only two minutes off PB. Um, so that's Mario 63 No Major Skips for you. Um, later I'll commentate a 100% run too, because I was talking about that quite a lot. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I might actually stream it, yeah, that might be a good idea.